they say anything about the tonguing, which Mariah when they'll be taking her on? Uh, they're organising things today, I think. I'll give them a call later, eh? Let them know we'll be going. Yeah. Will you include me in that? Imagine what it'll be like for them with you and I there as a couple. Well, I need to pay my respects and I want to be there for you and Scarlett. We should be there as a family. I'm not sure you going is a good idea, that's all. to a home. You can't see her, you know that. I thought this one, if that's okay with you. Gwena. Oh boy, here they come. It's okay, Uncle Mitch has got everything under control. Oh, he's sick as a dog, he should be home in bed. No, he's fine. <laughs> well, maybe not. We need someone to organise the urupa. There's notices in the newspaper to go in the koha. Heaven knows what they're doing in the farikai. Don't worry, I'll sort everything. No, TK can do it. It's better if he gives the orders, I do the running around. No. Auntie, I've never run a whole thing on my own. Her brother isn't going to make it. And as far as I'm concerned, you're the next best thing. This is what my girl would have wanted. Tell them she was in the wrong car at the wrong time. What kind of explanation is that? Yeah, it's not good enough for me either, but it's all I've got for now. My baby would have hated this. She had to know everything, had to be in control. She hated me as much as she loved me. Hey. Oh, it's true. Everyone knows it. But you know, after that last visit, things had started to change. She was calling me and we were talking, really talking for the first time. There was that raru raru with Craig and that other floozy on the scene. She was a mess, but she had a plan, always did. What did she tell you exactly? Well, that she was going to resign because of that ex-boyfriend being a hoha. He should have been the one resigning, not her. It's not that simple. What happened, TK? Maybe you should hear it from Craig. He'll be turning up first thing in the morning. He's got no right to be here. Yeah, he does, mate, and he's grieving too. He's with someone else. Nothing will surprise me now, boy. Just say it. Maybe you better sit down for this one.
Koru a koto ta mai ti. Takoto mai. Moe mai koe i roto i tofa. Kale koe i kite i te ao mara mai ngari e tangi nei mātou mou. Eriki. Moe mai i tō moe ngā roa. Ke tama, ke a tikara. What did he say? He just told everyone about the baby. Urua tahi rā. Oh. Oi atu tō waka ki te oki oki ngā mō te tangata. Haere. 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 Apti ono tātai ono. Te hunga mate ki te hunga mate. Apti ono tātai ono. Te hunga ora ki te hunga ora. Kahuri. by me, darling. You can get your bags later. Five courses. Oh, we're on again, Dad. Pucker up. Listen to you. Old hand now, eh? <laughs> Did you know Sarah was coming? Oh, there you are. You're right. It's pretty full on out there, eh? Uh, yeah, yeah. I coped. <laughs> Surprise. You should have texted me. Well, it was kind of a last-minute thing. Um, Rui said that he'd speak for us and Chris and Tony were coming, so <laughs> I thought I'd just tag along. We shouldn't be here if we don't want to be here. I came to see you. You know, be supportive and all that. Right. So, do I get a kiss? <laughs> oh, uh, that's Sarah. She, um, she's one of the doctors, a colleague of who he is. We all are. So, what happens next? Ah, uh, and the streams of Manuhiri, why are they gone forever? Speeches, karaoke tonight, more speeches. Not so formal though, you can say something if you want. I didn't think women were allowed. Oh, we're a bit more relaxed, a bit around here. Often they do it like a kind of song. I'm not singing anything. <laughs> ah, don't panic. Just say what's in your heart. Talk straight to Hui. Oh, I'd be too shy. Probably make a dick of myself. Well, you know what Hui would say. If you want to speak, speak. And if you don't, don't. No pressure. How can you say that when you just pressured me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank 
Thanks for rescuing me. Not. Hey. From the aunties. Look, maybe we should go and sit in the car and talk this out. Wait, hey, Craig. What do you like a chilly muscles? Uh, duty calls. He has got no idea what it took for me to come here. Sure he does. Well, then why is he treating me like this? It's a funeral. He's upset. <sighs> so what am I supposed to do? Try going with the flow? You've got the skills there, bro. What's the secret? I'll get all easy, eh? Everyone's acting like Craig was a husband, not me. Well, she loved him. He treated her like crap. I mean, if it was like that, she would never have stayed with him. She probably didn't even see him. Her father walked out on her when she was a kid. That fella Stephen Law treated her like dirt. Then Craig Valentine comes along. Oh, you've got it all wrong. I was the only man who ever put her first. Then he breezes on down here acting like his cucker don't stink. Well, he's not that bad. She was having his baby. I didn't want to live in the same city as him. Add that up. It was complicated. How? He'd moved on. Now, who you talked about some dizzy at work? Her name's Sarah. Did she come on with that Shortland Street lot? Yeah, yeah. He brought her down here. Wait, she's got a right, so does Craig. Like hell. But he... Mate. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Craig, look... <laughs> can't keep avoiding me. I am not avoiding you, OK? I'm just trying to chip in. Well, do you think people really want you to help out? Have some bloody respect, will you? Buddy, come on. No, this has to be said. Well, come on, buddy. Look, I know you're upset. I told you to look after her, remember? But you didn't. And now you have the cheek to show up at her tonguey with Huya's replacement, parading her around the family? Look, that's enough. We wanted to say goodbye. And make sure she's in the ground once and for all. That's not how it is, buddy. I didn't thought we could walk. Oh, unless, of course, you two were best mates in the end. Just leave her alone. She's come to pay her respects. We both have. Funny how you've got all the respect in the world. Now she's dead. I'd leave it right there if I was you, mate. Come on, mate. Come on. Thank you for sticking up for me. Before you got in the car, did you stop to think even once how your presence might affect people? People? Right. That would include you. without a bit of drama. Why do you think all the aunties show up? <laughs> I just keep thinking, how would I feel a year from now? I thought I'd be kicking myself. It just seemed petty to stay away, but seeing Buddy like that... You've done the right thing. Really? Yeah. Most people would have taken the easy option to stay at home, carried on with their day like normal. But you, you've got guts. Could you mention that to Craig at some point? It's been an emotional time. People overreact. Maybe it's good that all this stuff comes out, you know? So you can get past it. <laughs> Listen to me going off. <laughs> How'd she get so wise all of a sudden? Well, Auntie Queenie put me in charge of all these arrangements. I've gone all comato on it. Well, that must be tough on top of everything else. Ah, keeps my mind off things. Maybe that's why she wanted me to do it. Dad and the old guilt trip. Who he would want this, darling? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's right. Oh, you'd be proud of you. Yeah, well, she was always telling me what to do when she was alive. Why should it change now? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. For what? You know what. Quite a few people are coming down for service tomorrow. Yvonne, Brenda, Libby, that lot. <laughs> but who's going to hold my hand until then? <laughs> You'll be fine. Yeah, of course. I'd stay, but I have to cover for Brenda tomorrow. Yeah, and like you say, I'll be fine. See ya.
ενώ I hope you can see all these people here tonight. These lives you've touched. You're probably too busy, eh? Doing what you always done. Up there bossing somebody around. Getting about in a pretty dress with everything on display. You had to follow your dream, you said. You promised not to lose touch. But that's just what happened. But we never thought it'd take you away from us for good. We told ourselves you were our shining light leading the way for others to follow. Now that light's gone. Wasted. You always had time for me. You laughed at my stink jokes. You hugged me when I cried. You taught me all about retail therapy and day spas. You're the only real stepmom I've ever had. And I loved you for it. I know I let you down. And that will always haunt me. I'm sorry that I will never get a chance to make that up to you. But I can tell your family. Because they love you even more than I do. And I hope one day that they might forgive me. Shot of whiskey in it too. Oh. <laughs> Watch out for these dodgy buggers. Be down the pub before you know it. Oh, all right, I'm in. I'm sure you guys want to be the safe driver. Oh. <laughs> you drink that bad. Thank you. Yeah, it's been that kind of night. If you ask me, you've been coping with it really well. Oh, I don't know about that. I do. I said some things. So who are you? Really awful things. You can hang on to this stuff, it'll eat you up. No, it's depression. It works for me. You'd have a stress-based cancer by the time you hit 65. <laughs> well, I'll take my chances. No, whatever. This is a dungy. This is the time to let it go. You and I didn't always see eye to eye. Mostly because we loved the same man. And I always felt like we were in competition over him, but I guess in a weird kind of way that gave us something in common too. 
I'm still trying to get over how hurt I am about the affair, about the baby. But what I wanted to say was, I forgive you. I forgive both of you. Kia ora, Wait. Plan what you were going to say? Or did it just come straight from the heart? Well, I was just being honest, like you were, like Betty was. Oh, yeah? Sounded like a cheap shot to me. Um, I was clearing the air. Oh, so you waited till you were in public, when I couldn't respond and Hui certainly couldn't? Well, nobody seemed to mind. I did. What you did wasn't just disrespectful. It was so selfish it makes me sick. Right. And how do you think I felt listening to the way you talked about her? Anyone would have thought you'd chosen the wrong woman. It's not a competition, Sarah. It never was. Yeah, well, you make it feel like it is. Never making up your mind one way or the other. Not even now she's dead. Come on. No, no, I need to know. Who matters more to you, Craig? Me or who are you? Well? You should never have come here. <laughs> 